Do you want results next time you go trout fishing? Get yourself a set of trigger spoons and put a limit on the stringer. They flat out produce. Howdy folks, Kel Kellogg here. Today we are gonna talk about connecting lures or hooks or whatever you wanna connect to the end of your leader. Now, when I'm out trout fishing, I always try to use one of those little dual lock snaps on the end of my line. Not a snap swivel, just a snap. It just makes it easy to change lures. I know my lure is always gonna have freedom of movement on that snap, but I've had several people ask me, well, if you don't have the snaps and you wanna tie a lure on using a loop, how do you do it? Well. This is called a perfection loop knot. It's the same knot you'd use out in San Francisco Bay for tying on a live bait hook. You can use it for tying on lures. You can use it for tying on anything that you want to have freedom of movement. Um, it's, it's not a real common knot that a ton of people know how to tie, but uh, it's a good knot to know how to tie. So I'm gonna demonstrate how I tie this knot. I'm gonna move up closer to the camera so you might not be able to see my face. That's probably a good thing. So let me move in here close. I've got a piece of 25 pound test P-Line CXX here and I've got a humdinger. Now, if I was tying this humdinger on for real trout fishing, I'd be using eight or 10 pound fluorocarbon line, but I wanted something you guys could see, so there you go. So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the end of the line, we're gonna have about eight or nine inches of line there. I've got probably three feet of line in total, but eight or nine inches of line and we're gonna cross this line over itself just like that. Just, and I'm crossing it, you know, on your side, the camera side, right there. I'm just crossing it over and I'm holding it in my fingers. Now, the next thing we're gonna do, whatever kind of object we wanna tie on, we gotta put on that, that tag end right there. So let me thread this humdinger on here. Almost, I'm getting closer. There we go, I got it. So the humdinger's over there, it's, it's on that piece of line. Now, I'm gonna take this line around, around the other loop, and I'm gonna pull it down between the loop where the humdinger is now situated and, and this loop here, the first loop we tied. I'm gonna take the humdinger or the hook or whatever it is, I'm gonna drop it through that first loop we formed, and now I'm just gonna pull this whole thing down. See that? I'm just gonna pull that down. Now to avoid having a huge loop, you could kind of work it down and make this loop smaller. You could feed it in, just adjust it down because you don't want a huge loop. So I'm just feeding it down, tightening up the loop. I'm pulling this down tight. Now I'm gonna wet the knot right here. You can see it's starting to, to knot up. There we go, just like that. Grab a knife here. You can see that long tag end there. You don't want to cut this off completely flush. I like to leave probably, I don't know, a sixteenth of an inch, something like that. That's not gonna hurt a thing. There we go. Done and done. That is the perfection loop knot. And whether you're tying on live bait hooks in San Francisco Bay, spoons to troll in the lake, anything you want to have, you know, absolute freedom of, of movement, the perfection loop knot, it gets the job done. It's a simple knot to tie, requires a little bit of practice, but uh, man, all my years of fishing San Francisco Bay, I could pretty much tie that thing in my sleep. It's a little easier to tie when you're not doing it on camera. But anyway, that's a knot you need to know. It's not one of the, the top most common knots, but it's called a perfection loop knot. You can find illustrations and stuff online or just keep you know, rewinding this video until you get the hang of it. Just grab yourself a hook or a snap or something in some line and sit there and practice it. Tie it a dozen times and uh, you'll never forget how to do it. Just remember, you loop the line over and cross it in front of yourself, put on whatever you wanna tie, bring the line around, put it between the two loops, take the object you're tying on, shove it through the far loop and work that down and you have just tied a perfection loop knot. It's gonna look just like that, nice and clean and that spoon has freedom of movement, a live bait hook has freedom of movement, that anchovy can swim around until a halibut grabs him or whatever. So anyway, hopefully you learned something new. I'm Kel Kellogg, I'm signing off. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please do it. 
And I want to thank all you folks for all the support over these you know, last few years. Um, without you guys, we wouldn't have an FHS channel. So thanks a lot. Be sure to check out our online store. We have all kinds of fishing products in there now, rods and reels and this and that and the other thing, lots of trout gear and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm signing off. I'm going to run in and grab a bite of lunch, and uh, I will catch you next time right here on YouTube with more fishing tips, reports, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, catch you later. Fishhunshoot.com offers a variety of tackle as well as rods and reels designed to get you on more and bigger fish. Check it out today at fishhuntshoot.com.